Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. It has been such a long break but we thank God we are back again. If this is your first time being here, welcome to be a part of this wonderful experience. Our story brings us here at home. This is where everything all begins. I want us to go through the whole process of building a small house. In our mother tongue, we call it Simba. In this experience, we go down here at Plotsibor in Homa Bay County, which is where the authority hails from. Let me take you back a bit and explain to you what I'm building and how we do things in our Luo culture and African tradition. What I'm constructing here is called, in our native language, uh, which is Luo as Simba. Simba is uh, the first house you build when you are of age and you come out of your mother's house. As a man, you must put up a small house. Simba is built in order of your birth number as boys in the home. The first boy builds on the right hand side of the mother's house and the second on the left, the third again on the right and uh, in that crisscross sequence order till the last son in the homestead. Evening, what time is December? Christmas, even now. Even now, I say, Kate, then. In this case, we are two boys, so my big brother builds on the right side of our mother's house, and being the second and the last one son, I build on the left side. My loss, I come. My loss, I come. That is the reason I'm building on this side, in this space here. Noting that this is my first house from my mother's house. Typically, Simba is uh, brought down sometimes when one now builds his home. In my case, I opted to do a permanent Simba and I will uh, use it later on for other purposes as rooms for guests. As the young son, I will be the one to remain in the homestead and build my main house. So I opted, why not just build my silver also to be a permanent house because I'm not leaving our homestead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come 
Big brother, we eventually do have to relocate his own place out of the homestead. That's uh, uh, why he did a same uh, mm. That's how the new tradition is. And as much as things change, we uh, try to maintain some cultural order. Kabiro, na chuma mjinga. Nundo mjinga, ile ya Nikadogo tu hivi. Nuru ya mawe. Eh? Koso wadhi? Warinkodi wadu wadu. Hama ni aje viki. Adhi wadu kodi wadu wadu. Hapu buda. Ah, 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 inua. Kino nenda na wewe buda. Rasta fara uru toro kabuondo. Uru toro. Kabuondo, kabos. Ndugu ya Fredi. Fredi, kadongo. Hey, hapo tu school we got a thing. Hey. Hey. Mali aku, kita tua pok. Jika sa. Iyo ni iyo iyo ni unajua jua kali. Obiro, Obiro. That's the whole concept about uh, Simba and the uh, Luo tradition. We must have it, we must have as a man, we must have a house. And then uh, from there you can see where. If you want to now move outside the homestead, you can go and build wherever you want, but you must do a structure at home. Now here we have some cows that we also bought. These are uh, bull, at least for the homestead, because it's believed, you know, in homestead, things that will actually get you engaged when you're at home is uh, uh, taking care of the cows, yeah, these are the young ones that we also bought like a few weeks ago. We have there's a market near by where we need to buy a cow. In case we have the sheep and goats, we just go and buy when we bring them over. We have the sand, we, there's tracks that mean the sand. These are actually from uh, the lake. By the lake side. 
and with the structure. One thing about our place is it's uh, the weather is very good. It's uh, on a it's hilly side, so the weather is very uh, productive. We plant a lot of bananas, and we also do groundnuts and uh, sweet potatoes. Tang tang, chicken noir. <laughs> 